All of the gurus these days are saying that you have to sell high ticket, but if you follow that advice blindly, you may wind up losing out on a lot of money, wasting a lot of time, and causing yourself a lot of unnecessary headache, which is exactly what happened to me. Now, if you want to sell high ticket, there are basically two methods that people are teaching. Number one is a high ticket call funnel where you get people on a sales call and you talk to them one on one and you get them to buy your product. The second way is through a live event or a challenge. So you have a fairly long live event, like a two full day live event or a five day challenge where you get a lot of exposure to people. You teach them a bunch of stuff. And then at the end of the challenge or the live event, then you pitch them on your high ticket product. The problem with this is that if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started, then these are really difficult. So if you're doing the call funnel, for example, now not only do you have to do all of the marketing to get people to actually book a call in the first place, but now you also have the additional skill that you have to be good at sales. And becoming good at sales, and I believe that anybody can become good at sales because it's a skill that can be learned, but you're just adding this whole big skill that you have to learn in addition to all the other skills that you need in order to get the person on the call in the first place. And then the live event or challenge is maybe not as difficult in terms of you have to be able to actually sell people face to face and be ready for objections and all that kind of stuff. But with that process, now you have to have a ton of material, right? It's a lot of work on the front end. So what I recommend instead, if you're just getting started, is a mid-ticket webinar funnel. What that means is that you do a 90 minute presentation and at the end of the presentation, you pitch a product that's priced mid ticket, somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000 and people can buy directly from the webinar. You don't have to do a sales call. And the reason that that is so much easier, in my opinion, is because first, one thing, the presentation is only 90 minutes long. It doesn't take you, it's not that much content that you have to create on the front end. And then on the second thing, the price is not so high that you need to talk to them on the phone, right? So you don't have to develop those phone sales skills. What you can do instead is just have a slide deck of slides that you go through and you just read your slides. And so if you're not someone who's naturally gifted at sales, this process is much, much easier. It's also a dead simple funnel, which I can show you right here. You just have your ad running to an opt-in page. And then from the opt-in, they go to your webinar, right? Just 90 minute presentation. And then from the webinar, go to an order form, buy your product. That's it. That's the full funnel. Now, I'm saying that this is the easiest way to start if you're a beginner. Now, that might not be true for everybody, right? Because everybody's different. Every offer is different. Every personality is different. So I'm not saying that's necessarily true for you, but it definitely was true for me. And in fact, I've done this for two separate businesses, had a lot of success. And both times, both of those, I switched from this that was working to a high ticket call funnel because that's what all the gurus said that I was supposed to do and that's how I was supposed to be able to scale and make all this money. In both times, in both scenarios, they performed worse than the original business doing this, right? This is probably the single biggest mistake of my business was that I listened to the guru advice without thinking about it myself, without considering that, okay, maybe my situation isn't the same as their situation. Maybe I should continue doing what's working. And I ended up spending a ton of time and, and literally tens of thousands of dollars on coaching, trying to get this high ticket call funnel working and never at one point was it more profitable than this first funnel that I began with. And really the problem here is that the marketing industry isn't really good at nuance, right? They say that this particular method or this particular funnel is the best for everyone in every situation with no exceptions. And right now the fad is high ticket. And so all the gurus say that high ticket is the best. You should always sell high ticket with no exceptions, which is ridiculous. I mean, if you think about it, even for a minute, you know, I, I doubt any of these people would walk into a McDonald's and say, hey guys, you're doing it all wrong. You should stop selling your hamburgers cheap and start charging $5,000 for a burger. Like nobody would do that. But for some reason, marketers have this tendency to get so stuck in whatever funnel they happen to be preferable to that they don't see the big picture. And the big picture is that what model or what funnel or what sales process makes sense for you depends on a few things. There's no one size fits all model. It depends on uh, what your offer is. 
right? Some offers are super valuable and, and they can justify a high ticket price. Some offers like a McDonald's hamburger are not that valuable, so you have to sell them for cheap. Also depends on how much money your market has, right? If you want to sell something for $20,000, but the people that you're trying to sell to don't have $20,000 and have no way of getting $20,000, well, it's not going to sell. And it also depends on your natural proclivities. So for me, like one-on-one -on -one sales is difficult for me. And I've, I've learned, I've got a lot better, but it was not something that came easily to me at all. And so you should be honest with yourself about what your skill sets are. For me, reading off of PowerPoint slides to a group of people on a presentation was much easier than uh, talking to somebody one-on-one -on, -one on the phone and trying to like, preempt all of their objections and, and try to convince them to buy like to me that was a lot more difficult so i highly recommend that you keep an open mind think about what way makes the most sense for you for you as a person and for your business and for your offer what way makes the most sense and it's great to have coaches and to have examples and probably even necessary, right? If I hadn't had coaches, if I hadn't had examples, if I hadn't had systems to follow when I got started, I probably never would have had any of these results that I've gotten. So you need to have that. But at the same time, don't be so rigid that you have to follow everything they do exactly 100% without deviating at all. Like keep an open mind. You are unique. You are an individual. And... Because of that, there are going to be subtle differences here and there between what you do and what the person that you're following is doing. No matter how good the person you're following is, no matter how successful they are, and again, like definitely get a coach. If you don't have a coach, then you're you're like blindly groping in the dark. You want a coach, but it's not you don't you don't have to follow everything they do 100%. Think about it yourself too. Use your own mind in addition to that. So I hope that helps. If you found this video useful, I think you'd also really enjoy this video where I walk you through Alex Hormozzi's process for creating a $100 million offer.